On the Circuit Python Parsec today, I wanted to show you the Circup examples function. So if you're not familiar with Circup, it is a way to install libraries on your Circuit Python device. So right now I have a uh, Feather, what's this? A M uh, Feather RP2040 plugged in here. I just put a little piece of acrylic over there so you can see the LED. Uh, you can see right now it's running a little blink sketch. Uh, so I can install NeoPixel library on here. Circup install NeoPixel. There we go. Uh, and so that will install the NeoPixel library. If it's not already there, it'll update it. Uh, if it needs updating, you can use other commands for that. So if I take a look right now, I'm going to do a list of my CircuitPython uh, library drive. And you can see NeoPixel library is there. But by default, I have kind of a hello world sketch running on my device and I want an example of code that uses a library I've installed with Circup. So what we can do is say Circup example and I'm going to say NeoPixel and I can actually tab complete so it fills in the rest and then I'm going to do a slash and hit tab again and now it's going to fill in all the possible examples that come with the code that are stored up in GitHub. So here you can see I've got NeoPixel Pixel, NeoPixel Rainbow IO, NeoPixel RPI Simple Test, and NeoPixel Simple Test. So I'll do uh, NeoPixel Simple Test and hit enter. And what this is going to do is copy that Python script onto my device. So now if I list the contents of the circuit python drive you'll see not only do i have code.py but now i have neopixel simple test.py so in my code editor here i'm just going to open that up here it is i can copy that and paste it into the code.py hit save and now we should see a different test on the board there now i'll do the same thing with the neopixel rainbow io library so i'm going to tab complete up to here and use this rainbow IO. Simple test, hit enter. It copies that script onto my drive. Now I can open that one that also lives on my CircuitPython drive now. And I know you don't see the, uh, the file window here, but I'm grabbing it. You'll see it open right here. So now again, I can copy that paste that into code.py. I'm just going to set the number of NeoPixels to 1. And the pixel itself is on the board NeoPixel pin. So you may have to do some updates, but you've got these great examples. I'll go ahead and save that now. Now you see we're going to be fading around the color wheel there. This is fantastic. This means that when you install a library, you don't have to open up a browser, go find the GitHub for it, look for examples, or go to uh, a different website and find them. You've got them at your fingertips using Circup. So you can go to the, uh, let, me, let me find the URL for you right here. Uh, if you go to github.com slash Adafruit slash Circup, uh, you will find an example of how to use this, and you can upgrade your Circup so that it'll be ready for this latest 1.8.0 feature, which is super, super cool. And so that is how you can use Circup's example function inside of CircuitPython. And that's your CircuitPython Parsec.